Tonight's been a great night, and it's not slowing up, Bobby. An incredible night, Zach. And now, it's time for the main event. I can't wait. Let's do it. <laughs> there he is, Bobby. Eddie Kilbane Pryor, the walking apocalypse himself. You can't help but wonder how the Stillwater Butcher can't compete. I'll tell you, Zach, this psycho is a complete whack job. <laughs> You know, when he came out of the womb, this guy literally choked out the doctor with his own umbilical cord. He's that fucking sick. I'll be ringside keeping luchadors off your ass while you finish Killbane. Good luck, man. Well, there it is, Bobby. The Saints receiving no love here. Not at all. It is raining hate down where they are. And of course it is. After what their capo did to Stillwater, they're lucky the fans aren't knifing them on their way to the ring. Wait, oh my God, look at that. It's Angel de la Muerte. Angel de la Muerte, the second half of a pale riders, sometimes regarded as the herald of a walking apocalypse. The youngest wrestler to ever win the Super K Cup is here in the Steelport Arena. History is writing itself tonight, Zach. After his questionable loss to Kilbane years ago, Angel dropped off the face of the earth. If you're a fan of Murder Brawl, this is shaping up to be the best night of your life. Time to get to work. All right, here we go. And here's the Butcher of Stillwater swaggering in. And speaking of surprises, here comes the Luchadors in force. The Butcher getting some help from the fans. This has just turned into a Lumberjack match from hell. All right, Bobby, you know, this is a classic matchup. Speed versus power, youth versus age, brains versus brawn. Well, you know, the fact that these two are tag team partners really adds another layer to the whole dimension. They train together. They know what to expect. One wrong move can end the entire match, and you got to wonder if Angel is going to be able to keep his cool. You know, you're right, Bobby. The last time these two fought, Angel lost his mask to Kilbane, the greatest mark of shame in the Lucha Libre world. It's been years that had to be eating away at him. And that's exactly the weakness that Kilbane will be able to capitalize on to win. You know, Kilbane was as shocked as the rest of us to see Angel back in the ring. There's no way he's operating at 100%, Bobby. Oh my God, no Angel is out of the ring. I can't believe this, Bobby. This is punishing to watch. The Luchadors are manhandling Angel. This is sick. He's getting kicked around like a sack full of dead puppies. Oh, geez. Wait, the Butcher of Stillwater is making his way towards Angel. How much can one person be expected to... Oh my God, a chainsaw. What the f***? Oh my God. Look at the blood fly! I could have had a V8. A fatal flaw in the Luchador's plan, Bobby. They didn't account for the murder brawl chainsaw. It was a desperate move for a desperate time, but it looks like the gamble has paid off. Now this is what people came here to see. The Butcher of Stillwater on an unstoppable rampage. Kilbane can't be happy to see this. I hope the audience brought some paper bags, Bobby. It is raining blood. Angel, can you fight? I think I broke my leg. Get in there and kick that bastard's ass. I can hold off these jobbers. Well, it looks like people are going to see the fight they paid for as the Butcher of Stillwater stands toe-to-toe -to -toe with Kilbane. Now, this is classic Saints tactics. Use someone to weaken up the opponent, then swoop on in for the kill. I already beat your champion. Now, kneel before the walking apocalypse! I am going to rip that mask off your fucking face! When I'm through with you, you'll be back! For me to kill you. This is it, folks. Two giants in the field of destruction facing off for our entertainment. Does it get any better than this? No, it doesn't. Though only one of these two has the good sense to leave the violence in the kill bay and winds up. He dodged it. Here comes the reversal. Look at the brutality from the butcher. I think you'd have to be naive to believe a giant like Kilbane hasn't thrown in a few punches here and there outside the ropes, Bobby. Not like the punches being thrown in here tonight, Zach. 
Both of our contenders seem to be out for blood. Cubane isn't bowing down to the butcher anytime soon. But this celebrity of the streets isn't making it easy on Kilbane. There seems to be something more going on than two world-renowned titans wishing to settle who rules the mountaintop. Oh, my God! And Kilbane goes sailing out of the ring! But wait! He's already heading back in! Looks like the Stillwater Butcher isn't getting a moment's rest tonight. That's right, Zack. There are no free rides against the walking apocalypse. You betcha. No matter who wins tonight, someone is going home with crushed dreams and internal bleeding. The crowd can't get enough of the cards, and quite frankly, Zack, can he land the kill switch? Another miss from Kilbane! The champion cannot be happy with that one, Zack. in his place. Murder Brawl is certainly giving the finest and blood-gushing, bone-mashing entertainment tonight, Bobby. My heart goes out for the cleanup crew on this one, Zach. That's gotta hurt to get hit with. <laughs> Give it up while you can still work. You won't even realize how insignificant you are. The charge again. Unbelievable! Another reversal! This is incredible! The Killbane just can't connect with the kill switch. Just leave me my mask! We want blood! 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 Smile, Kilbane. We're going nationwide. No! Oh, wow! It's shades of Angel de la Marte as Kilbane has been demasked. Yes, we have seen the face of the walking apocalypse. And to be honest, it's a man with the receding hairline. They got 11 against all odds. The Saints are still standing. What a night, Zach. What a night. Gilbane, it's just a match. It's my fucking reputation! This is my city. I am its Caesar! And I get to fiddle while it burns.